Hello everyone, YGO, Dragon Ruler here again, back with another Market Watch. Um, prior, I just previously did a Market Watch on Heroes Revenge, just showing you guys where the market is currently on pre-sales. And I think it'd be very interesting while uh, while you guys look at that, to think back on the previous two um, Battle of Legends sets. So we're just going to really quickly recap those sets and show you guys where values landed. And just explain, like, you know, as you're looking at Heroes Revenge, you know, think back to the other two Battle of Legends and see where those items ended and it, it should help you like get a sense like you know what what should you be investing in and what has potential so this, let's, let's start right off with the previous one let's look at Relentless Revenge right Relentless Revenge had short printed cards one of those short printed cards right here was Cyber Emergency when this card first hit the market it was a five dollar card looking at it now we see it here at about 25 bucks a couple weeks ago it was at like 18 dollars and a couple months ago, it was like 40 bucks. <laughs> the moment Cyber Dragons do anything, this card will spike. But you can see right now, even with them not doing that much, this card is again going back up in value after again trickling down. So keep that in mind. Kaiju. Um, Gamma Seal has it's been at like a $7 price point for a bit of time. But it, it came from a $4 price point, right, from launch. So it's slowly been... Like these are one of those cards that slowly it just moves on up you know what i mean so like stuff like that it's, it's interesting to look at like this is the only secret rare print i got a super rare but this is the only secret rare and people want the max rarity so this card's been slowly increasing in value since it starts release number 27 this card has fluctuated a little bit in value it used to be a little bit more expensive than this but uh it also used to be i think at one point it was like a five bucks and then it just fell um golden castle golden castle is also a short printed card it used to be like 20 30 dollars um at launch right at launch it was like a really expensive card but because it's very archetype specific and not that many decks use it well only one deck only one deck uses it which is the archetype is built for it slowly trickled down and it was at five dollars for some point and now you can see it it's, it's now at like seven bucks and it stabilized around the seven dollars so do keep that in mind like with Heroes of Venture, archetype stuff is great, but only if the archetype is being used. So you pick it up when it's the archetype isn't being used, when it's cheap, and then should should the Princess in deck ever get support, this will be one of the cards that shoots through the roof. But right now, the deck isn't doing anything, and for the future, there's no for no don't. There's no foreseeable future this deck doing anything so in the future so yeah keep that in mind um reincarnation this is like our engage for heroes revenge right you can see it here at about seven bucks um it's 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 been at like four dollars and three dollars before and it's been creeping on up um occasionally it gets bought out i do think this card will continue to go up in value as long as reincarnation doesn't see another reprint which i don't think it will so keep that in mind um, number 75, this card used to be dumb expensive because of the number 87, 86 combo with Rongo, um, where you just slide him under, but this card is waiting to be busted again, just waiting for another strategy that it utilizes something like that, it utilizes Needin, Xyz material, and has busted effects, and then this guy comes back, um, <laughs> and you just slide him under, and you're good to go, so this card has potential, just not right now. There's just not a lot that you can do with it right now. So it's uh it fell back down. Uh seven dollars is going back under that because nobody's using it, there's no need to. Um Dark Worm. Dark Worm is an interesting one because this is the only hollow printing of this card. It came out in a common, but this is the only hollow and it's a max rarity secret rare currently. Not getting an ultimate doubtful. Um But it's at like four dollars. And I think this is way lower. The moment like pendulum's doing things, this card's predominantly using a pendulum strategy with um gate zero it searches it so that's why this card is uh relatively good it, but i still think five dollars and market right now just shows it it's about five dollars with shipping um i think this card has potential future potential this card could easily become a ten dollar card you just love more time this set came out last year let's look revisit this set two years from now and you're gonna see like most of these secret rares they're gonna be hitting some dumb numbers fog blade fog blade right now <laughs> really cheap for fog blade people are scared people are, i think the only reason fog blade is so low is people are scared it's gonna get hit on a ban list um either fog blade or rusty but this card got bought out and it was like a 20 bucks it's a 20 dollars like a 15 10 20 dollar card so now now look at it now, now look at this card 
But yeah, like these are stuff you think, eh? Like, you know, you pick them up now, you wait for it to become... I think everyone's really waiting for the ban list to decide whether to pick this up now, but... But yeah, going on to page two real quick. And, um... Number 90. Number 90 is been slowly trickling on up in value. It did get bought out before, so that it's calmed down since. But it used to be like a... Two dollars. Two dollars. Three dollars. And now it's... Uh, I mean, now it's four dollars, but... It's gonna get bought out again. It's gonna go back up in value. Monster Reborn. This is the only secret rare printing of Monster Reborn. When it first came out, it was like two, three bucks. You can see it here. It's about four dollars because of the off season. Market value has about five. It's gonna, it's gonna creep back up to that five dollar point. It's gonna surpass that five dollar point as time goes on. Just because it's an iconic card, it's the only rarity. It's the only secret rare printing of that card. So, you know, it's gonna go up. Um, Neos. Neos has also been like, it's, it's also was like a $2 card. Now it's like a three fifty card. Market, still under its market value, but the only reason it's under its market value, again, is because it's off season. People are just trying to sell stuff. But this is, this is an honest for any hero deck. So eventually he's going to see play. Shrike. Shrike. Shrike used to be a dollar. Now it's like three. And it just keeps creeping on up. Burrow Guard keeps, uh, it's been bought out before. It used to be a dollar. Now it's at like three. Diagram, also a card that keeps getting bought out. It was at like seven, eight bucks at some point. It's falling back down, but it's gonna get bought out again. The moment True Draco shows their face, it's gonna get bought out again. Tornado Dragon's getting a reprint, so I think that's why that falls. But uh, I think it was it was it was at three dollars for a period of time. Aqua Dolphin dollar, it's now three. Living Fossil, I think two dollars is still. It used to be a five dollar card. Any, whenever a deck utilizes a Zoltus, is one of the go-to cards. So I would hold on to it until a deck, until a warrior strategy comes out, which is gonna happen at some point, and it again utilizes a Zold. This will go up in value. We're just gonna step to page three, and I think we're gonna stop at page three because the, the the Phantom Knight package, right? These two guys, these two guys used to be a lot of money. They're only what? They're only a dollar. That was the optimal time. If you guys have not gotten your Phantom Knight engine. I would pick it up now because these guys have rose up to like three, four, five dollars before. They're falling down. You need your Phantom Knight Max Rarity engine. You you get these. You really only need one and one, and then um two Fog Blades. But if you really want to like go all out, like I would, I would just get three, three, three. They're they're really cheap right now. These cards during competitive season, they always like if any deck can utilize the engine, which Orcus still currently can. People think it's gonna get hit, but it still technically can if it doesn't get hit badly. It could still utilize this engine. If this engine doesn't die, it's really cheap right now. I would I would go in and scoop it up. Pre prep of rights. It's been going up. Uh, it used to be a couple cents. This used to be way more expensive. It used to be like five dollars. It's just been slowly falling. Uh, Gumblar got banned, <laughs> but it's still it's still holding on to two dollars. Brilliant Fusion Limited, but it's still holding on to like a dollar. I would pick these up. I would hold them for a long time. Try to give them a dollar. Then there's everything else is like these have so much potential. Super rare. Union. Union support. With uh, Fist of the Gadgets coming, I would be hoarding these right now. Waiting. Because if they have Union monsters in there, this. That's just me. That's just. I'm just. I'm just shooting that out there. I'm just shooting that out there. So. Yeah. Fine Elfin. Everyone thought this card was going to be crazy. It's not. It's a dollar. But yeah, that's just, that's just a quick look. That's just a quick look at Relentless Revenge. Um, I want to end the video there. Uh, I do want to look at Life's Revenge as well. But again, I, I do want to like try these shorter videos and see if they're more digestible. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, again, if you, I will have this set link down below with a TCG player link. I'll also have like an Amazon link if you guys want to shop through Amazon. Um, if you guys do shop through those uh, links, I do appreciate it. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, too, that'd be cool. Shen this just do it. Um, and also... <laughs> Also, uh, do like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate that as well. The giveaway is still going on. Once I hit 75 subscribers, somebody is getting that. All you got to do is comment down below. Let me know what your favorite card is. And also, what you think of the new look? You guys like the new look? Yeah? I put effort into this, bro. All right? It's the time. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. Talk to you in the next one. Goodbye. Uh -oh.